going on guys welcome back to another video oh sorry come here i didn't mean to scare you mama welcome back to another video guys i'm about to go feed the box turtles which is where the majority of this video is going to be set at oh, step over dead box turtle hello friend hello good morning good morning yes your breakfast is here also i gotta have a, have a breakfast for another another edition so as you can tell it's another box turtle of some sort because it's an omnivorous diet we got all these ones down here i'll put your guys food actually over here put you there that way hi friend come here put you guys right there so that you guys aren't in my way and i'm not in your way where's the third one is he still sleeping you guys see he's sleeping in the log or under one of those logs but he'll come out later but as you can see they have some shrimp they got a little bit of greens here and there some carrots some uh some shiners and same thing with the one that's in here. Although, this is not a Thrichard box turtle. This one is a, it's an Indonesian box turtle. This someone donated to me because they wanted to go to a good home and I told them, I said, I got some room for him. There he is. Hey, friend. I brought you food. And also going to be building a small little kind of like a little pond over here just something for him to walk in and out of so i'm gonna go get some rock and kind of build it in a way actually i'm not even rock i'm just yeah i'm probably gonna throw down some rock or something i'll see what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that off camera but i just wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna kind of end up doing. Got it. Get it in a way. I might just be able to put the pond liner down and then put some rocks or something along with that and keep it in place. But yeah, that's his little hide. This was his temporary water. Bowl. He is right here. We decided to name him Merlin. Like the wizard. Um, there is a monkey tail. Right there. <clears throat> There's also a monkey tail. Right in there. There's a third one somewhere else, but I'm also gonna screw these pothos up into like pieces here and whatnot, because they the three the three toad. The Indonesian box turtle is omnivorous and I don't know if they'll smell the pothos and not want to eat it. But to just prevent that from happening, I'm going to keep all the pothos plants off the ground so the monkey tails can eat it. But my Indonesian box turtle cannot. And then once the other enclosure for the iguana and the three-tail box turtles gets finished, they'll get moved over there. The Indonesian will be moved over here. And then the red foot will probably be moved into here temporarily because I don't know if I'm going to keep the red foot or if I'm going to find him a new home. But that's how rescues go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to obviously I fed them right now. Those two over there are for sure eating. I can see them from here. He's still getting used to everything. He's been in for like three days. But I'm going to go grab the liner and see if I just want to throw it down and put rock up. Or if I'm going to put rock, then liner, then liner, then rock. So, I'll pick up the camera. I'll figure this situation out. And then we'll see what else we got to get into today. Also, the antibiotics for the Redfoot tortoise are on the way. My buddy just picked them up from uh, the vet tech. And he should be here probably about 1.30. And right now, I think it's like... 10 30 something like that so getting the 
RI meds for the red foot and yeah. Oh, look at that. And there's the third monkey tail sticking his tail out the, out of the hide box. So everybody's one, one, two, and three. All right. I'm gonna get on this job now. All right. So a little update. Two plants left. I screwed this one into this wall, hanging above. And then the pond, little walking pond's gonna be right here. I'm gonna go grab some rock and kind of just like mold it into it so it looks all natural. So that the little homie over there has a little, little watering hole. But then the monkey tails also, if they wanna soak in there, they can as well. His food's still over there. He's not really interested in food right now. He's just more interested in warming up. But yeah, all three monkey tails are in sight, meow, meow, and meow. And then the three toes, oh, this brick over there, but I gotta fix this as well. Well, that's what happens when you start building stuff. You gotta fix certain things. Those two are there. I saw the third one pop its head up down there. I think, let's see, who are these? That's Houdini. That's Randy, which means Murphy's down there. Yeah, we named the male uh, Randy. My buddy Caesar helped me with that. And I think I said it in the last video, but Jericho is the chameleon that's out there. And Merlin's that Indonesian box turtle. And then upstairs, the uh, the red the rescue red foot. We named him Jimothy. Don't ask me why I named Jimothy. Okay, I'll tell you why. Uh, if you guys watch South Park, it's Timmy and Jimmy combined, so it's Jimothy. Also stole it from Flair. But uh, yeah. All right, we'll go grab these rocks and then we'll head back in there. All right, guys. So. I got a plant up there hanging. That plant's hanging. So most importantly, I got the pond set the way I want it. I first put down pea pebbles, or I mean, I filmed it, siliconed it, put the pea pebbles on top of the silicone, and then put granite on top of that. I'm gonna let that cure because I gotta go get another bottle of silicone and some peat moss and other stuff for a couple other projects. But I gotta get silicone for this because I'm gonna drain this bad boy out and kind of redo this one a little bit more as well um besides that yeah i just gotta that pond that pond but this one will be separate from this video that'll be on the side um but then i gotta spray down the whole enclosure with the monkey tails and the indonesian box turtle and then once that's set i can wrap up this video and wait for the medication for my red foot also i probably should show you guys this while i'm here that's a box trail moving so the screen is on the way for the enclosure i'm probably going to finish this one first i mean i really need to get the savannah modern enclosure done it's not going to be warm for the next couple weeks so if i can get this dialed in first and then this enclosure dialed, I think I'll be on the right track. Also need to cut back this tree a lot and that tree a lot so the sun, when it comes over the fence, it hits all of this. So everyone gets a nice warm sun. And then also need to clear out a good amount of this so that it hits the turtle pond. Basically all this shade needs to go bye bye It needs to be sun. I need more sun. So, yep, I'm gonna go to I went to Home Depot. They don't have my GE silicone that I usually get, so I'm gonna go to Lowe's and grab GE silicone and a bag of peat moss. So I'll see you guys in a second. So now that we are back, it is time to fill up the pond. Ugh.
as you guys can see, just miss it down the enclosure. The Indonesian box shell is still way back there. I don't know if you can see the shell. It's like right there. Right there. But he's enjoying the little shower he got. I'm going to spray it a little bit down some more. But that is the pond. And yes, I know it's murky, but it's okay. Give it some time to clear up and everything. Once it does, I'll probably throw up some Instagram photos of uh, the box turtle or the monkey tails in the pond. But that plan there is the same thing I'm going to do here. So I'm going to bring up that level a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, smash the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Comment something down below. Maybe a tip, advice, something. Or something you guys want to see in the future. Or any animals you want to see in the future. Uh, share this with all your friends. Share this with your grandma. Share this with your cousins. Share this with your coworker, your boss, whoever. Maybe even your dog. And hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you later. Peace.